All right, let's be real. Growing a startup today feels a little bit different. The old playbooks are getting kind of dusty. The competition is fierce with everyone building with AI and grabbing attention across social media platforms is pretty brutal. You're grinding, hustling, but maybe the needle just isn't moving like you thought it would. But what if I told you that there's a new way, a way to leverage the insane power of AI, smart automation, we're talking agents doing work for you and something a little bit less tangible, but just as crucial, Vibe. If I lost everything today, wiped clean, back to zero, and had to build a startup again from scratch, this is the exact playbook that I would use. No fluff, just the high leverage moves powered by the tech that's changing the game. Forget 10x thinking, this is about building a 10 person output with just you and some clever tools. Now stick around because I'm gonna be breaking down how I'd build a lead generating, automating, vibe marketing machine that actually works today. So hit that subscribe button and let's dive right in to the first thing that I want to talk about. Okay, first things first, it's all about getting leads. Without a predictable flow of potential customers, you're just hoping regardless of what you're building. But how do we actually do this in the age of AI? Well, we need to forget generic content for starters. We want to build useful assets for people. For example, we might launch niche directories that people are actively searching for right now. This might be something like companies using HubSpot alternative to X or top AI tools for accountants. We can use tools like Gumloop combined with Google keyword planner to find these underserved search terms and then build that directory, capture the leads and move people into our product. The second thing we might want to try here is becoming the answer engine to our users' questions. Every time a customer asks a question, that's content gold. And we can use ChatGPT to take those questions and answers and instantly build a searchable knowledge base on our site. We can use SEO and customer self-service to really win in this area. The third thing here is to spin up simple tools that solve one specific industry pain point. This doesn't need to be complex and we can use platforms like Replit, Cursor or Bolt to quickly build things like calculators, simple generators or checklists related to your niche. We can offer it for free and then capture our leads. Number four is to stop reinventing the wheel. We can see what content formats are already crushing it in our space or adjacent niches and then use AI tools like Claude or Perplexity to analyze top performing blogs, video threads and more. What's the structure? What's the tone? What's the angle? We don't want to copy these, but we can adapt them into winning formulas for our niche. And then the fifth sub point here is to co-brand. Find non-competing players targeting the same audience, build a small tool or resource together, and then share the leads and double your reach. And finally, we want to flip the script with reverse webinars. Instead of presenting for an hour, the audience brings their specific problems related to our expertise, and you solve them live on that webinar. There's massive value, instant credibility, and super qualified leads. And finally, number seven here, if you're in B2C, you need to be tapping into creators. We can use tools that really capture creators and automate personalized cold outreach emails to see if we can work with them and get them to show our tools on their pages. Tools like ChatGPT can actually help us to build out an affiliate program and reach out to those influencers. So for example, we might think about the percentage that we're gonna offer those influencers to promote our products or think about spreading our bets and giving a small amount of our paid advertising budget across a wide range of influencers and seeing which do the best. There's a really cost-effective way to do this, which is seeing if we can identify an up and coming influencer using something like ChatGPT search or Gumloop to analyze socials, and then see if we can strike up a deal with them, which will bring them on as an in-house content creator at a fixed price, so much cheaper than paying for one-off promotions, and then getting them to generate, let's say 20 videos a month of them using your tool. We already know that they can create some viral videos, but they're just getting started. And if they can create just a few with your tool, it's gonna go viral, get put in front of lots of people on places like TikTok or Instagram, and hopefully drive even more leads into your website. Okay, so now we've started generating some leads, it's time for part two, which is all about automating the boring stuff. We don't wanna be running our one person business or small team and doing loads of boring admin. What we wanna be doing is building AI automation to help outsource as much of that as possible without having to hire loads and loads of expensive humans. And there are a bunch of ways to do this, which again, I'm gonna break down down into different steps. First up, we can look at things like scheduling meetings and use tools like either Calendly or Lemlist tool Lemcal that will allow us to send outreach messages to potential customers or have a little sign up box on our website, which will automatically qualify and book people in to our meetings. And this just saves loads of times where previously an executive assistant would do this for you. Next, we can automate our growth loops. We can use tools like Gumloop to run referral programs and incentivize our existing customers to bring even more customers into our tool. 
tool. Another boring task to automate here is thinking about our content. We can use tools like Opus Clip to cut up our long form content and then repost across TikTok, Reels, Shorts, or anywhere, and even changes into audio only content for our podcast. Another really powerful thing to automate here is personalization at scale. So for example, if you've got a customer who lands on your website and then wants to find out a little bit more about their industry or something adjacent to their industry, instead of just having a generic page on your website, you can actually link up to tools like Clay and Webflow, which will then personalize micro websites for that particular customer. So for example, Clay can pull out a load of information from customers landing on your site and then feed that into Webflow where sites are automatically generated and then you can post them onto your own website. So when customers land, they get a really super personalized experience. The final thing we want to consider automating is then things like financials and our cash runway. Now this can be really, really boring and I definitely recommend setting up an accountant, but in the meantime, you can easily go into ChatGPT, map out a three to five year runway and think about where you're going to be spending your money. And this is particularly helpful if you're bootstrapping. Often people will throw money at marketing and if you're VC funded, it's not a problem if you're losing money here as you're just experimenting. But if you're bootstrapping, it's much more significant. So get ChatGPT to output a full funding runway and an idea about where your marketing is going to go and any potential return on investment estimates. And then you can track against those as you start running some of your experiments online. All right, so now we're moving into section three, which is all about mastering vibe marketing. Our systems are all automated and humming. We're getting leads coming in and it's time that we want our customers to feel trust, authority and relatability when they're landing on our webpage. But how do we manufacture that vibe? Well, it's all about thinking about our brand. We can use ChatGPT to build a brand for us and also look at what competitors are doing in our niche. Then we can think about our content engine. And with things like vibe marketing, what we want to do is get ChatGPT or Claude or any AI to plan out a social media calendar for us that starts with long form content. So say for example, we're building something that's pretty visual like an AI powered video editor, then we're probably going to be on platforms like YouTube initially with long form walkthroughs of what our tool does, maybe some examples of the content it's outputting. And then what we want to be doing is repurposing this content for other social media platforms like X or LinkedIn. And what we can do here is use tools like either Opus Clip or run the video script through ChatGPT and get it to output LinkedIn threads, Twitter threads using perhaps an automated GPT. And this will take all of that brand goodness and then feed it out across where all of our customers are sitting. One of the keys to Vibe Marketing is looking at the data and also exponentially increasing our outputs. So for example, if I use a tool like Gumloop or N8N, I can feed in one of our YouTube videos and then get it to automatically output a LinkedIn thread, an X thread, and then get it to automatically post that for me at a certain time on one of our accounts. What we then want to be doing is just owning one of these platforms. So whether that's YouTube, whether it's X, whether it's LinkedIn, depending on where your customers are sitting, we want to be getting out as much volume as possible. And we also want to be interacting with other accounts. And one thing I would do here is I might use Perplexity or ChatGPT search and analyze really popular accounts who sit in the same niche as you. This might be influencers. It might be specific brand pages that you can then go and comment on and build up your own expertise for anyone else who engages with that brand or that influencers page. You'll start building up your reputation. And previously, this might take hours and hours every single day to do. But now with AI tools like N8N or Gumloop, you can actually automate a lot of this and set up some timed events to first comment on posts while you're doing other more important things. The next thing I'd recommend when it comes to vibe marketing is thinking outside the box. So if you're building a B2B platform, we know that webinars are something that works really well if you can capture interest. But traditional webinars are really boring. It's typically someone reading off a PowerPoint presentation for hours and then trying to get people to sign up to their main product. And this doesn't really work in today's limited attention span age. So what we can do here is we can think of this kind of reverse webinar idea. What we're doing is we're inviting people to bring their problems and then we're solving that on a webinar. So let's say, for example, we are building our video editing tool. Instead of just showing off that video editing tool, why not get people to bring their problems with existing platforms like either Premiere Pro or thinking about how they repurpose their own content and then walking them through it in real time using a combination of your own tool and other ones out there to really educate them on what they've got. This is going to have really hyper qualified people then want to come and use your tool. And my final bit of advice on Vibe Marketing is using AI to really grab people's attention with scroll stopping visuals. Stock images are completely dead as are bad logos and bad images. We want to use AI image generation tools like Leonardo and Midjourney to create visuals that make 
people stop and stare when they're on any social media platform. Now, what we can do here is we can look at any competitor visuals or even visuals from people that aren't our competitors in niches next to ours and utilize some of those principles by feeding in those images to Midjourney or Leonardo and then optimizing it with our brand messaging and some of the things that we want to convey to our users. Okay, and our final section in this Vibe marketing walkthrough is all about becoming a testing machine. So previously, founders would spend so much money running experiments across all social media platforms, optimizing their messaging, optimizing their website, and then only right at the end when they've got that really nailed and people buying, are they starting to then get customers through, but by that time you've run out of money. With AI, we can accelerate this exponentially. So a couple of things that we can do here. Firstly, we can take a screenshot of our existing website or a competitor website if we're a little bit earlier, and then feed that into ChatGPT or Claude and get it to analyze what's working well and what isn't and getting it to act like a UX expert for when someone lands on the site. This is immediately gonna give us a ton of information that we might otherwise have to pay for expensive user insights and user surveys, which themselves can be a little bit hit or miss. And we can also do this with our ads. So we can go to Meta Ads Library and then we can pull out some of our competitor ads and feed those into ChatGPT. Or we could use tools like Gumloop to automate the scraping of these ads and then put them into a spreadsheet sheet and look at which ones do the best. And then we can try and tweak some of these to our own brand and see if we can get those to work for us. This is going to save us a ton of time where previously this would be a completely manual step. Now sticking with tools like Gumloop or NA10 or automation engines, another really cool thing we can do here is all about web scraping. So we can scrape some of our competitor blog articles, we can scrape articles from other websites that we know resonate with our users, and then we can pull these into a central repository and build out a ton ton of questions that we can use for generating FAQs. And we can test these using things like Google Analytics, seeing who lands on what page. And if you want to really take this to the next level, there are tools out there like SpyFu, which allow us to quickly see who's searching for what terms across the internet and double down on these on our own site. We can use something like Webflow or Frame to quickly generate tons of content that people click on when they're organically searching for certain questions. And we can experiment and tweak this on the fly by running these blog files articles through Claude or ChatGPT or tools like Surfer, which can generate articles with just the click of a button and optimize all of our old articles too. Now, once we've been through this cycle of Vibe marketing once, where we've created some of our tools, we've optimized our messaging, we've pushed stuff out on socials, we've repurposed all our content with AI as quickly as possible, we can then go back to square one and think, okay, what have we learned through this first sprint and how can we get better? And this is where we can actually put in some of our data into ChatGPT or Claude or whatever you're using and get it to think about what we can do for the following month or the following three months. So say for example, we've had one piece of content go completely viral and everything else has fallen flat. We can get it to double down on this piece of content and map out a new content strategy for the next 30 days that really focuses on why that content has done well. We then repeat this cycle and we're generating leads on the fly into our SaaS platform or the AI startup at an unprecedented rate, which would normally take hundreds of thousands or even millions of marketing spend to get anywhere near. Now, I hope you found today's video useful. I've got some other great videos looking at how we can use AI to get ahead in the world of startups and solopreneurs that I'm going to pop up over here. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll catch you again in the next one. See ya.